Teleo there champs. Now it would be a real understatement to say I've been waiting to review this laptop and I think you guys have too. The Asus ZenBook Pro 15, the new one, the UX 580. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09, look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. Yes, this is the one with the 8th generation 6 core Coffee Lake CPUs up to i9. You also have an option, of course, of a GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti. I'll go to 1050. Given a thermal envelope of this, you won't get the most out of the 1050 Ti especially if you've got the i7 or i9. But that's in a gaming sense. It also has that display in the trackpad. So I guess from a gaming point of view, maybe with MMO games or something like that, you might have, you know, some macro shortcuts there. Maybe, I don't know. But it is actually useful and better than, say, a touch bar or anything like that. So this model here comes with the i7 8750H, 16 gigs RAM and 5 12 gigabyte storage. Now you can upgrade the storage, but you cannot upgrade the RAM. So get the maximum you can. 16 gig is the maximum it is soldered in unfortunately there are two display options 100 adobe rgb 4k display and you also have a 60 hertz full hd display the one i have here that's glossy and it's pantone certified so it is very color accurate and that's what this is for right this is for content creation it can game yes it can game no problems but that's not the target audience for this this is for creators that want to game rather than gamers that want to create although i will say the lines are very blurred these days so when it comes to thermals when you game it's no new thing that that some of these eighth generation cpus will not get the maximum performance thermal throttling with the i9 or i7 this is not something exclusive to this zenbook pro so when you game it will throttle at worst the cpu will go down to 15 watts depending on on the game it can be two gigahertz clock up to three gigahertz clock depending on how much usage on the cpu there is but this thing can game don't worry about that and to sum up the gaming performance it would be around a 60 frames per second medium settings 1080p now i'm going to show you some live gameplay at the end so you will be able to see the thermals there and if you push just the cpu the cpu will not throttle at all although i have the i7 if you're just doing content creation yes go for the 1050 ti because when you content create thermal issues are not that much of an issue so you know i was playing fortnite 1080p medium settings you know 128 frames per second black ops 4 blackout 57 frames per second medium settings witcher 3 44 frames per second at medium settings again and PUBG, 47 frames per second lower a couple of settings you will get 60 at medium and dsx mankind divided around 43 frames per second at again 1080p medium so you can see this thing can game, no dramas. The fans actually aren't that loud. It's not as loud as a gaming laptop, so that's one good thing. But of course, under load, you're still going to hear the fans. It's got an interesting thermal solution. Thanks to Daniel Rodriguez, my man, who told me this, the air comes in through the speakers. That's probably why it hits those thermal limits. But in terms of content creation, I will touch on that in my review. But no, if you want to buy this for content creation, you want a game on the side, you're going to have a great gaming experience. Fiddle with a few settings, 60 frames per second, medium settings there. So check out the live gameplay now and i'll catch you in the next one tally ho all right we are playing black ops blackout and the thing to know about uh black ops blackout is black ops 4 by the way obviously you probably know um the thing to know is that when you play blackout the frames per second are lower than when you play the multiplayer like when you play team deathmatch uh, domination and stuff like that probably because the world's bigger or whatever but the frames are reduced so this is harder on the system than actually playing multiplayer now i'd run this at i'm playing this now at the end of all my benchmarks so as you can see here it's already at 14.7 15 watts if you look at the cpu line and we're getting a clock speed of around 2000 megahertz temperatures climbing up into the 80s and that's why we're only limited to 15 watts now this is the thing right so it will thermal throttle down but as you can see this is medium settings 1080p and it's pretty demanding actually it's surprising how demanding blackout is compared to the multiplayer Potential version but um you can see we're getting good frames per second and you won't see stutters you won't see 10 you know 20 frames dropped because once it hits that 14 watt sort of 
um, power limit there and as you can see if you look at the limiter it has the voltage coming up there so there is some power limiting going on here but once it hits that 15 watts it's consistent so black ops is a demanding game in it uses a lot of the cpu it uses like it's using like 50 percent of the cpu and we've got six cores here a lot of games only use 20 percent some even use less when you only use like 20 percent of the cpu the actual um, frequency will actually go up to like say 3000 so it's going at 2000 now if that cpu usage it will still stay 15 watts but if when that cpu usage gets down and it's only using like 20 percent of your cpu you will get um, like 3000 megahertz so as you can see the graphics card which is the gtx 1050 you can see there that does not throttle at all that's going full speed now the temperatures are in the 80s and obviously this thermal limiting of the cpu is why we can keep those temperatures below 90. now if that um, cpu was allowed to go wild and just start trying to use 30 40 watts there would be some serious stuttering here and there as it you know goes in in and out of throttling but this is very consistent like this it looks like a really low CPU clock speed, but still you're getting the frames, okay? Still getting up around 60 frames per second. So you're still gonna get a great gaming experience. So that's the thing about this. This is a great laptop for someone as a content creator and wants a game on the side. If you wanna like game, like be a full on gamer and buy a 15 inch laptop, look elsewhere, buy, buy a gaming laptop first and then yeah or if you want to do whatever else you do on the side that's fine but if gaming is your first thing don't go with this go with um something else but um if you're a content creator or you just want a nice premium beautiful laptop that's not that heavy it's very light it's nearly as light as the macbook pro and you know we're talking less than uh, two kilos and nearly four pounds just a tad over four pounds it's premium it's a great laptop and you can still game on the side so you know it would be better if they worked on the thermals and we didn't have to have this cpu throttling but you can see here clearly we're still getting 60 frames and this i, I slammed it you're not going to get any less performance than what you're getting now that 15 watt it will stay down there two gigahertz at the low end and the seat and the gpu running full speed no problem so anyway catch you in the next one tally hope